Okay, I am disappointed. So what am I disappointed about? Well, it's got something to do with browsers. Internet browsers. So the new Firefox browser is here. Mozilla just recently released their latest version, Firefox 57, also known as Firefox Quantum. And I have to say, I've been playing with it for a couple of days. I'm very impressed. It's actually very good. You know, it's fast, it's smooth. Uh, and that used to be one of the reasons why I would always choose Chrome over Firefox, the last years anyway, uh, because Chrome is very fast, is also very smooth, and Firefox always used to be very slow and laggy. But with this update, I have to say this version, uh, from first appearances anyway, seems to be on par with Chrome. You know, so I'm gonna continue playing with this for a while because I'm very impressed with it. But there is one thing that I am disappointed about though. Now this concerns one add-on. And you might say, only one add-on? Well, yes, but it's become a very important part of my browsing life. Let me show you. The add-on I'm talking about is this add-on right here. It's called Tab Groups. Tab Groups by Quicksaver. Now, the functionality it offers at one point actually used to be built into Firefox itself. Um, but for some reason, Mozilla said, okay, it's causing us a little bit of problems. It was making life a little bit more difficult for them. So they gotten rid of it. And from that moment on, add-on developers took over. And in my opinion, this one, Tab Groups by Quicksaver, by far was the best one out there. The problem is, um, and you know, let me say first that I'm absolutely not a techie guy, but the way I understand it is that uh, Mozilla has made some fundamental changes to Firefox and that has caused this guy uh, whose name is Louis Miguel, uh, the developer of this add-on, to say okay well Firefox if you want to go that way fine by me but it's it's making it a bit too difficult for me to keep on developing and keep on supporting this add-on. So if you want to go that way fine by me but I'm out. And that is exactly what happens. So this add-on does no longer work in Firefox 57. I actually had to download and install uh, an older version of Firefox just to be able to show you. This is Firefox 45. So what is this add-on all about and why am I making such a fuss over just one add-on? Well, especially for the way I like to browse the web, this add-on is so incredibly useful and once you start using it and grow accustomed to it it's just very difficult to imagine browsing the web without something similar to this so i was very disappointed when first of all mozilla decided to get rid of it as a built-in feature but now with this latest update it's gone altogether and the surprising thing to me is that none of the other browsers nor firefox itself has a good alternative to this and i just do not understand this so let me just show you what it does okay now let's say that i want to buy a new set of headphones in the near future okay and i want some information about that of course now let's do a search for headphones okay and let's see what cnet has to say about this okay but i also want to see what uh, wikipedia has to say about this and that way i can get some information um and okay these are just two tabs if this were a real search i might have 10 maybe 15 tabs open um but now let's say that I just remember that next week I want to go to Paris and I still need some information on that. So what I could do is just open a new tab and start searching. And maybe I want to open another tab and start searching again. Uh, and maybe after that there is another sub subject that I want some information on. Before you know it, you have 20, 30, 40, 50 tabs open. You don't know which is what, you don't know what is which. Uh, it's just chaos, you know? And that is where this add-on comes in. 
So now I want to look up some information about another subject, Paris maybe. But at a later moment I would like to return to my headphone taps. So in the jargon of this add-on I have been talking about, this is now a group. Okay? If you click this icon right here, you will see group 1. Now, if I go down here to manage my groups, you will see that represented here also, group 1. You will see the tabs here. But now I can click this plus sign and this will create a new group. Let's do that. And here I can add a new tab. Let's do that. Okay, now it looks like I have a brand new window. It's not. It's just a new group. It's the same window, but it's an, another group. The other groups have all gone to the background and now I'm in my brand new group and um, I can do uh, different searches here without the interference of all the other tabs from all the other groups. Okay, let's search for uh, Paris Hotels maybe. Um, okay, this looks good. I also want to uh, do some sightseeing. So sightseeing Paris. Okay. Great. Here you, here you have some information about that. And now let's say that tonight, I just remember that tonight I have a little birthday party from, uh, of a colleague of mine, which is actually true. I do have that. Uh, and I want to search for presents. Okay. Let's go back here and manage groups, open another group. I can name the group by the way. Let's call this one present or um, birthday party or just party that should do it party uh, and open a new tab okay let's search for present well I think you get the idea and now I can just go back to any of the groups I have previously saved so to speak so let's go back to the first group my uh, headphone groups and as you can see all the tabs are right there they're still there and I can just continue where I left off. Now I would find it very difficult to believe that not everyone would think this is extremely useful and should be considered a basic function for any of the major browsers out there. Because there must be many, many, many more people like me who are browsing the web kind of like I do, for whom this is a problem, you know, too many tabs open, not knowing exactly how to organize it, not knowing how to get back to a particular group of tabs, you know, this is definitely a solution. So I really do not understand why this hasn't been picked up yet by all the other browsers, for instance. You know, I've tried all of them. I've tried Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, Vivaldi, Opera, you name them. None of them have a good alternative to this. And I just don't understand. I mean, some of them are trying to do something kind of similar. You know, there are some Chrome extensions that are trying to do something with saving sessions. It's not this. Edge nowadays has something similar with saving tabs that you can go back to later it's not the same as this. You know, so I genuinely do not understand why this hasn't been picked up. So that's why I wanted to share this with you for you to tell me that either I'm crazy or you kind of agree with me or both. Anyway, please tell me how you feel about this, what you think about this. So please leave a comment below. Um, and to all you browser developers out there, Please look at this and implement this into your browsers as a built-in feature because I need it. We need it. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about this. Um, again, I'm really impressed by this uh, latest Firefox version. Uh, I just hope that this will be solved also. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. This has been kind of helpful. It has helped a little bit with getting rid of my frustration about this. Just a little bit. Okay, again, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.